What's up, viewers? Hi, I'm Angel Tony Pimentel, aka Mini Tangle, and you know, I just feel like we're, we grew up into this social media, so we don't realize how creepy it is. Social media is filled with creeps, it's just a creepy thing as a whole. Like, the simple terminology we use is creepy. You have followers, people who follow you. That, that's, the, that's why it's called creeping on people when you creep on their stuff. They're following you everywhere you go. It's just through a computer screen. It's the same creepy stuff if it were done in real life. The same thing. And we're like perfectly fine with that. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm following you. Proceed. Like seriously, can we all just take a moment to acknowledge what a selfie is? What a selfie is, is you take a picture of yourself and you want people to like your face. Like tap on your face and like it. So you're giving people permission to stare at your face and like it and say that I like your, how your face looks. It looks really good. Do you know how that would look in real life? Okay. Wait, come back. I have to poke your face. I like you. And yet we're perfectly fine with promoting this weird behavior as long as it's on social media. Hey, I just got 120 likes on my picture. That means 120 people stared at my face and tapped on it, indicating that they liked it. But in person, like, you are the biggest creep for staring at someone. It's the exact same freaking thing, though. The only difference is you don't see them staring at you. You don't physically see them staring at you, but they, they're they staring at you. Do you realize when you have a picture on the internet, someone could be staring at you. They could be. They could be staring at you for like two hours straight, just staring at your picture. But if they were to do that in person, like you guys freak out. You guys are hypocrites. But you know what my real frustration is? Is social media is ruined by people who don't know how to use social media correctly. There's a lot of rude people out there. I'm just saying, if you leave people open or unread, you're a jerk. Because this is basically what you're doing. Oh, hey, Brenda. Hey, Brenda. did hear me though, right? Yeah, that's literally what it is. It's someone talking to you, you staring at them, looking them right in the eye, and you just walking by saying, I don't care what you have to say. Do you know how rude that is? But you guys are a bunch of cowards, because none of you would do that in person. None of you guys would stare at someone, look them in the eye, and walk by because you don't want to talk to them. You'll actually be polite and be like, uh, yeah, hi, I'm doing good, and you'll do your stupid small talk, but when it comes to social media, you have that little safeguard. You're like, ah, well, it's just a computer screen. I, I could totally pretend I didn't read it. Maybe my, my phone glitched and it just said that I read it, but it, I didn't. <laughs> you guys are cowards, and you should be ashamed of yourself. The thing is, people just abuse social media making it bad. Like, you spam followers out there, people that just spam comment, forget you. I hate, I can't stand it, especially on Instagram, I can't stand it when I have a video, a comedy video up, and then there's always this one stupid idiot that posts, oh, that was a really nice picture, good shot, bro. Bro, that was not even a picture, that was a video. You're not even looking at my post. If you're gonna spam, at least take the time to realize, oh, is this a video, or is this a picture? Maybe my spam comment should actually at least make sense. And honestly, women, I sympathize. Now I know how it feels when a guy comes up to you and acts like they actually care about you, but they really just want to get you in your followers. Hey, how are you doing? Why should I tell you? It's not like you care. You're just saying that because you want me to follow you on Instagram. Ugh, men. You pigs. You spammers just think that I'm just kind of flesh that can like your stuff whenever you want. I can double tap you and, and follow you whenever you want. I'm a I'm an entertainer. I have emotions too. I'm I'm a human being. I'm not that easy. <laughs> and can we all agree that hacking is not just taking someone's phone and then posting something on their social media? That's not a hack. 
you want to know what hacking is, talk to Felicity Smoke. And the most irritating part of that is, is the people who take the phone and think they're hacking, think they are hilarious. This is all you're doing. This is this is literally what you're doing. So everyone, I'm hacking Tony. He's just playing with a stupid fidget spinner like every other person in the world, and he thinks he's so cool. Look at that, scratching shut, his shut ear. Up, dude, and it's look at that, look at that. He doesn't want people to see his face. Yeah, you see how there was really no joke there? That's the point. It's not funny. Just shut up, okay? Just shut up. We get it. You want attention from that friend, okay? But don't call it hacking. That's all I'm saying. That being said, another thing that's not really entertaining is lip syncing in a car. I don't know why that got so viral. I don't know why girls do that all the time. I'm not saying girls only do that. Guys do that too, but let's be honest. It's pretty much just girls. On the darkest day, got me feeling some kind of way. Make me want to savor every moment. I'm sorry if you guys fell asleep in that 10 seconds, but, uh, you know, I'm just trying to prove a point that it's not entertaining. Something that I noticed, not that I get blocked all the time or anything, but what I noticed is on Instagram, I don't know if they changed it, but the last time I checked, if you block someone, that person can see your post, you just can't see their post. It's like, like a two-way mirror or something. That's screwed up. That's just a side note that I just want to say. Instagram, you better change that. If you block someone, you shouldn't be able to see those posts neither. That's just, that's not fair. <laughs> you know what I was doing right there? I was laughing at Snapchat filters because there there was some new Snapchat filters and I had to just post my reaction because it was so funny, right? Because it was super entertaining, like, to no one! It's not funny! Just stop posting stupid Snapchat filters! Uh, it's not funny! It's something that's been going on for years now! Uh, get over it! Please! I need uh, my inhaler! <sighs> I don't know, guys. Maybe I'm just overreacting. It's just, it. I just feel like there are so many things that are of the norm now that really should not be. Thanks for watching, guys. If you agree with some of this stuff, give it a thumbs up. If you disagree, well, give it a thumbs up anyway, because you're only proving my point that uh, you're used to this normal stuff, even though it's not normal, because it's weird. Like, uh, yeah. Special thanks to Brenda for being in this video and saying all this random stuff that I made her say. Uh, thanks for not being too awkward about it, even though this was an awkward video. So anyway, subscribe to me, or huh, follow me on social media, because huh, that's not weird at all. I'm Major Tony Fontel, aka Mini Tangle, and thanks for watching. This ain't a falling down. If we fall the ground around is shaking. Don't be mistaken, because success is what he taking. Lights, camera, action for the video creation. Been working hard and proving our six years in the making entangled that's basically what it is someone's talking to you and you're just staring at them look them in blah 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 blah